this is video number seven in the series of profit and loss and in this video we are going to be talking about one very important concept जो हमेशा ही एस एस या बैंक पीओ एग्जामिनेशन में पूछा जाता है वन लाइन ये मेथड होता है बट स्टूडेंट्स समटाइम्स बड़े कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं कि अगर किसी आइटम को 10% परसेंट प्रॉफिट पर बेच दिया और दूसरे को 10% परसेंट लॉस पर बेच दिया तो कंबाइंड लॉस या प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज का क्या होगा प्रोवाइडेड दोनों का सी सेम हो जाए या दोनों का सेलिंग प्राइस सेम हो जाए सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द एजेंडा इन दिस वीडियो टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट शॉर्टकट सो लेट इज गेट स्टार्टेड and we would be given these kind of problems that two items their cost price is being same one is being sold at 10% profit and the other is being sold at 10% loss so what is going to be the combined loss or profit percentage so let us try to solve this one so it says that say there are two items item a and item b cp of this item cp of this item is 100 rupees and we should also be taking cp of item number 2 as 100 rupees and over here profit percentage has been given to you as 10 percent and over here loss percentage is given to you as as 10 percent so so we need to find out what is the selling price combined selling price so item which is being sold at 10 percent profit cost price is 100 rupees what is selling price it is going to be 110 rupees i don't think that i have to do the calculation भाई टेन परसेंट आप किसका निकालोगे हंड्रेड का ही निकालोगे क्योंकि प्रॉफिट का परसेंटेज आप निकालते किसके ऊपर हो कॉस्ट प्राइस के ऊपर में निकालते हो एंड व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी सेलिंग प्राइस इन दिस सिचुएशन टेन परसेंट ऑफ हंड्रेड इज गोइंग टू बी लॉस यानी सौ रुपए में से दस रुपए का लॉस हो गया तो सेलिंग प्राइस इज गोइंग टू बी हाउ मच नाइन्टी रुपीज सो वट इज कंबाइंड कंबाइंड सेलिंग प्राइस कंबाइंड सेलिंग प्राइस इज हंड्रेड टेन प्लस which is which is 200 rupees and what is going to be the combined cost price it is 100 plus 100 again it is 200 rupees so what do you see in this situation in this situation two items their cost price is being same one is being sold at 10 percent profit the other is being sold at 10 percent loss there is no profit or loss percentage so please have this understanding so what is that i'm trying to say this is what I'm trying to say here. Two items, two items, their cost CP being same, cost prices being same, being the same. One is sold at, one is sold at, say, R percent profit. I'm trying to generalize this entire problem one is being sold at r percent profit and and the other is being sold at other is being sold at r percent loss so in this situation net profit or loss percentage is going to be nothing but zero why this is zero because these two items have the same cost price that's that's the keyword for you is that okay now if you understand this thing let us talk about this problem it says that two items their selling price is being the same and one is being sold at 10 percent profit so how this problem is different than that of the previous problem in the previous problem cost prices were the same and in this problem selling prices are the same so what is that we should be doing we should be taking this one item number one and item number two in this situation selling price is 100 rupees and in this situation also selling price is 100 rupees I do have a shortcut to this problem, one liner, but before I tell you what is that one line, I would like to elongate this problem. I would like to make this co problem complicated for you to have a conceptual clarity. Wo conceptual clarity badi hai yaan pe. And one is being sold at how much profit? Profit percentage is 10%. And over here, loss percent is 10%. Can we find out what is the uh, what is the cost price? So you know that selling price is equal to CP plus profit and in this situation you also know that CP 
minus loss is going to be the selling price now can you utilize the the concept that we learned in the very previous video jahan pe humne bola ki bhai agar agar kisi item ko aapne 10% profit pe bech diya to aapka wo jo cost price ho jayega wo ho jayega 110% ye aapka nikal ke aayega yahan pe aap dekh lena isko karke and in this situation selling price is going to be what 90 upon 100 into into cost price सो so, यहाँ का कॉस्ट प्राइस मैंने कितना निकाल दिया दिस कॉस्ट प्राइस कम्स आउट एज दिस कॉस्ट प्राइस कम्स आउट एज 10 बाई 11 टाइम्स ऑफ एस पी एंड दिस कॉस्ट प्राइस कम्स आउट एज वट 10 बाई 9 ऑफ सेलिंग प्राइस एंड एंड वट इज दैट वट इज दैट वैल्यू वट इज दैट वैल्यू so cp in the very first case cp in the very first case is going to be 10 by 100 rupees and in this case obviously your selling price cost prices will be will be the will be different this is going to be 10 by 9 of 100 rupees so can we find out what is the combined cost price combined cost price is going to be if you take 100 common the first one is this and the second one is this you further can take 10 out of it and if you do so this value will become 20 upon 99 so that's the combined cost price you you do the calculation i said that it will be a boring task but yes it is going to be a very fruitful task for you to have a conceptual clarity and what is going to be the combined selling price item number 1 is being sold at 100 rupees item number 2 is being sold at 100 rupees and in this situation there is a combined selling price of 200 rupees abhi kya ho jayega agar abhi aap dekhoge to you will have to find out what is going to be the profit or loss percent if you see this value over here is 200 if i if i 200 into 100 upon 99 so obviously this value is, is more than 200 and selling price is 200 so there is a loss what is going to be the loss loss is going to be cp minus sp so this is 200 100 upon 99 and this value is 200 if you take 200 out of it and if if you simplify further this is going to be the loss and how do we find out what is the loss percentage loss percent is loss upon cp into 100 aap bol rahe ho ki itna lamba kyon kar rahe ho hai mere paas shortcut but lagayenge usko so this one is going to be 200 upon 99 divided by 200 into 100 upon 99 into 100 सिंप्लीफाई कर दोगे तो ये 99 99 कट जाएगा ये 100 यहाँ से कट जाएगा ये 200 हंड्रेड यहाँ से कट जाएगा वट इज गोइंग टू बी द लॉस परसेंटेज लॉस परसेंटेज इज कमिंग आउट एज वन परसेंट एंड वेन दिस इज कमिंग आउट एज वन परसेंट वेन सेलिंग प्राइसेज ऑफ टू आइटम्स आर सेम वेर एज इन द वेरी प्रीवियस केस वेन कॉस्ट प्राइसेज ऑफ टू आइटम्स वर सेम and one was being sold at 10% profit the other was being sold at 10% loss there was no combined loss or profit percentage whereas in this case where two items are having the same selling prices ek ko 10% profit pe bech diya dusre ko 10% loss pe bech diya to mera combined loss percent nikal ke aa gaya ab wo shortcut kya jo main hamesha aapko bol raha tha ki bhai aap laga to sakte ho bada aapko seekhne wali baat hai wo shortcut ye raha wo raha ye ab formula अब ए बी फॉर्मूला क्या है आई होप यू हैव सीन द सक्सेसिव वीडियो प्रॉब्लम ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस और वीडियो नंबर थ्री ऑफ द परसेंटेज सो वीडियो लेसन नंबर थ्री ऑफ परसेंट इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दैट प्लीज गो एंड वॉच दिस वन आई एम गोइंग अहेड विद माई ए बी फॉर्मूला इट सेज इट सेज दैट ए प्लस बी प्लस ए बी अपॉन हंड्रेड सो वेन एवर सेलिंग प्राइसेज आर सेम यू कैन अप्लाई द ए बी फॉर्मूला one item item number 1 is being sold at 10% profit item number being item number 2 is being sold at 10% loss what is going to be the net profit or loss percentage <coughs> if you simplify 
दिस कम्स आउट एज वन परसेंट है ना दो लाइन का प्रॉब्लम हुआ ये वह जब हम उसको कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ में लगाने की कोशिश कर रहे थे वो तो बड़ा लंबा सा निकल के आ रहा था बट वो लंबा तरीका भी समझ में आना चाहिए तभी तो आप शॉर्टकट लगा पाओगे सो लेट इज जर्नलाइज दिस स्टेटमेंट हाउ डू वी जर्नलाइज दिस स्टेटमेंट आई से दैट टू आइटम्स टू आइटम्स their sp being the same their selling prices being the same one is one is sold at r percent profit r percent profit and the other is being sold at the other is being sold at r percent loss the the net the net loss percent how do you find out r percent plus minus r percent plus r into minus r upon 100 so probably you don't have to write this one because positive r percent and negative r percent will get cancelled and what is your loss percent it is coming out as r square upon 100 percentage and you always find it out of cp so that's that's the formula for the loss provided two items have the same selling price so two things that you're understanding in this video number one two items their cost price is being the same one is being sold at r percent profit the other is being sold at r percent loss no loss and lo uh, profit percent at the end of it agar galti se aapke paas mein aisa situation aa gaya jahan pe ye bola jaye ki je jo ye profit aur loss ke percentages hain ye alag alag ho jaye to ye shortcut jo aap is video mein seekhne ki koshish kar rahe ho wo bilkul kaam nahi karega aisa hona zaruri hai ki do items ke cost price se same ho jaye दो आइटम्स के सेलिंग प्राइस सेम हो जाए अब इस केस में बोले कि एक आइटम को 10 परसेंट प्रॉफिट पर बेच दिया 10 परसेंट लॉस पर बेच दिया जब सेलिंग प्राइस सेम है तब भी वो बोल दे कि 10 परसेंट प्रॉफिट पर बेच दिया 10 परसेंट लॉस पर बेच दिया इस सिचुएशन पे ये शॉर्टकट लग सकता है अगर बोला जाए कि दो आइटम दिए सेलिंग प्राइस आर सेम एक को पच्चीस प्रॉफिट पर बेच दिया दूसरे को बीस लॉस पर बेच दिया नहीं लगेगा ये शॉर्टकट बिल्कुल भी नहीं लगेगा ना इफ यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस थिंग let us solve this problem out here two items their selling prices being the same what is the keyword out here the selling prices being the same and the moment selling prices are same and the profit and loss percentages are same you come back to this formula what is the formula r square upon 100% loss ho jayega to nikal do aap loss kitna ho jayega combined r square is going to be what 25 square upon 100 upon 100 percent so this is going to be what 625 upon 100 which is 6.25 percent ka ho gaya loss problem ho gaya khatam does this make sense to you now if that is the situation i'm gonna read this problem it says that two items their selling prices being the same जैसे बोला है कॉस्ट प्राइसेस बीइंग द सेम और सेलिंग प्राइसेस बीइंग द सेम दिमाग की घट्टी घंटी बजनी चाहिए कि भाई अगला वाले दोनों सेम हो जाए तो हमारा काम चल जाए अब अगला वाले में क्या बोला है वन इज बीइंग सोल्ड एट 25 परसेंट प्रॉफिट एंड द अदर इज बीइंग सोल्ड एट 20 परसेंट लॉस काम हो गया खत्म क्योंकि जो कुछ सीखा था इस वीडियो में वो तो हो गया बेकार काम ही नहीं आएगा आपके पास में अब इस सिचुएशन में आप करोगे क्या और कोई तरीका नहीं है आप पेन उठाओगे लिखना शुरू करोगे नॉर्मल तरीके से आप बोलोगे कि भाई पहले वाले आइटम का मान लो कि सेलिंग प्राइस है सौ रुपया ठीक है जी और आपने उसको बेचा 25 परसेंट प्रॉफिट पे तो अब मेरे को यह बड़ी स्मार्टली लिखना आना चाहिए कि ये जो कॉस्ट प्राइस का कितना गुना होगा सेलिंग प्राइस इट इज गोइंग टू बी वन ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई हंड्रेड आई होप यू हैव यू हैव लर्न दिस वन so this is going to be 5 by 4 so cost price comes out as 100 into 4 by 5 watch the previous video to understand this concept very well and for the second item where you selling it for 100 rupees 
and we are having a loss of 20 percent so can i say that selling price can be written as 80 by 100 of cp because there is a loss this is 4 and this is 5 so cost price comes out as 125 rupees now you know what is combined ye ye kaam karna hi padega aur koi tarika hai hi nahi isko aise deal karne ka ha but agar speed test ki problem aate hain jaise bank pio kya ho gaya और SSC CGL क्या हो गया इनके जो प्रीलिम्स होते हैं ये हमेशा ही स्पीड टेस्ट होते हैं तो वहां पे जो प्रॉफिट और लॉस का परसेंटेज दे के रखेगा ना वो सेम दे के रखेगा अब अगर आप मेंस एग्जामिनेशन लिख रहे हो या आप कैट लिख रहे हो वहां पे क्या करेगा प्रॉफिट और लॉस के परसेंटेजेस को अलग-अलग कर देगा ताकि आपको कैलकुलेशन करने की जरूरत पड़ेगा इस प्रॉब्लम पे सो व्हाट इज कंबाइंड कंबाइंड सीपी दैट इज कमिंग आउट एज 80 प्लस 125 व्हिच इज हाउ मच व्हिच इज हाउ मच 205 rupees what is going to be the what is going to be the combined selling price obviously you are selling each item at 100 rupees so the combined selling price is coming out as 200 rupees so what is going to be the profit profit is going to be 5 rupees what is going to be the profit percentage profit upon cp in 200 and CP that you have taken as 205. Galti se bhi isko 200 mat likhna, varna ye problem sara ka sara ho jayega. Galat. So this is what we learned in this video. I hope this is going to be very very helpful for you when you write your bank P and SSC CGL examination. And in this and in the next video, which is going to be video number eight of the series, we would be solving some previous year questions of bank P and SSC CGL to understand whether whatever we have done through video number one to video number seven of this profit and loss series is going to be helpful to us to solve real time problems, जो हमारे examinations में पूछे गए हुए हैं, right? So I'm going to see you in video number eight of the series. Till then, bye bye and take care and thank you very much for watching this one.